Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, first I would like to express my sincere gratitude for the invitation by the UNESCO and the government of France. I am delighted to participate in this distinguished meeting where we all come together to discuss our commitment to a global mobilization for education post-COVID-19 and to showcase a milestone for the achievements of the sustainable development in education. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, education has been challenged in the last couple of years by the global pandemic, making global collaboration a necessity to plan the future of our people and creating an opportunity to test our resilience in facing new challenges. In Saudi Arabia, the Ministry of Education has adapted to the situation and moved swiftly to providing a wide range of digital learning alternatives, as well as distant and hybrid learning approaches to ensure equitable access to quality education for all. Apart from the pandemic, we have initiated extensive education re development reform based on benchmarking and international best practices. The reform includes continuous improvement of our curriculum, the introduction of new subject skills and content promoting sustainable development, global citizenship, and 21st century skills. It also includes the adaptation of blended learning in all educational plans and the adaptation of the three semester uh, system for K to 12 education with 13 weeks each to encourage more focused learning, additional teaching hours, and a stronger focus on key skills and subjects such as literacy, math, and science. In addition, Saudi Arabia has invested in technological infrastructure for education, providing education task force with the future skills, establishing international partnership, and inviting and empowering the private sector to be strategic partners in education. The fundamental education reform aims to achieve a number of strategic objectives and KBIs related to the Saudi Vision 2030, which outlines national effort to implement strategies for sustainable development and quality of life and education for all. This reflected in the fact that our national budget allocates largest percentage of the total expenditure to, on education. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, finally, I reiterate Saudi Arabia commitment to invest in education and its support for all uh, for the call for a global mobilization for COVID-19 recovery and more inclusive and equitable quality, quality future for our education. We also endorse Paris Declaration presented at this meeting and the commitment for the future humanity and planet. Thank you all.